What it really means is allowing states to rip Medicaid coverage away from those who need it most. If we want state flexibility, let's let states keep Medicaid expansion. Um, there should be no question that Medicaid expansion has dramatically expanded health coverage for middle class Americans struggling to make ends meet. Repealing the expansion now is both dangerous and incredibly short sighted. Apparently, the Republicans' idea of a health care plan is to destabilize the Medicaid program as a whole. Their plan to pose per capita caps on state Medicaid programs will force states to take on $880 billion in additional costs or else begin rationing care. Make no mistake, their plan to cap Medicaid funding will inevitably lead to waiting lists and rationed health care with sick people facing long delays and substantial barriers to the care they need to survive. I've heard serious concerns about this proposal from Seattle Children's Hospital, from University of Washington Medicine, and Skagit Valley Hospital, and the Washington State Medical Association, and so many others in my state. Um, Madam Chair, I ask unanimous consent to insert into the record a letter from our governor, Governor Inslee, and our insurance commissioner, Mike Kreidler, expressing deep and well thought out concerns with this bill. Without objection. Thank you. It reads in part, quote, over 700,000 people in our state will be at risk of losing coverage unless we can find $2 billion by 2028 to continue Medicaid coverage for 600,000 of these people, an unrealistic amount to raise in the current fiscal climate. It also states, quote, if Medicaid expansion were to end today, at least 20,000 people would have their cancer care disrupted and 30,000 would lose critical treatment for substance use, substance use disorder. Tens of thousands of people with mental illness would go untreated, a recipe for disastrous outcomes, end quote. Everyone has delivered the same message to me, that this legislation will do irreparable harm to middle class families in Washington state, especially children. Just yesterday I heard from the University of Washington and Harborview Medical Center that this bill means a $518 million cut to their life-saving work every year. It's staggering. I implore you to consider the consequences before allows, allowing this ill-advised plan to move forward. If my colleagues are truly concerned about states' rights, they should allow Medicaid expansion to go forward uninhibited. In addition to regular doctor and hospital visits, Medicaid covers long-term services like nursing homes and home care, allowing people with chronic conditions the ability and peace of mind to live independently. 31 states and the District of Columbia have expanded Medicaid so far. The expansion combined with the ACA's other reforms has helped to lower the nation's uninsured rate to below 9%, the lowest level ever recorded. States like Washington have thrived under reforms like this, which are helping millions of working families, seniors, and children. It seems like states' rights arguments only used when it's convenient. I urge a no vote on this motion, and I yield back. 